deep within the heart of a forgotten forest, there stood a desolate cabin, its time-worn walls whispering tales of darkness and despair. The legends that surrounded it spoke of a curse that had plagued the land for centuries, a curse that awakened every hundred years, seeking new victims to torment. Oh, and a moonless night, a group of unsuspecting travelers found themselves lost in the depths of the forest, Exhausted and desperate for shelter, they stumbled upon the foreboding cabin, unaware of the horrors that awaited them within. As they cautiously entered, the door slammed shut behind them, sealing their fate within the cabin's malevolent grasp. Panic gripped their hearts as they realized they were trapped, their cries for help swallowed by the eerie silence that permeated the air. The interior of the cabin was a macabre tableau of forgotten nightmares. Cobwebs adorned every corner, and the flickering candlelight cast grotesque shadows on the decaying furniture. A putrid stench hung in the air, a foreboding reminder of the evil that dwelled within. One by one. The travelers began to experience the cabin's insidious influence. Sarah, a young woman with a penchant for curiosity, found herself drawn to a dusty book sitting on a table. As she opened its pages, ancient symbols glimmered in the dim light, etching themselves into her mind, beckoning her to unravel the mysteries they held. Richard, a skeptical skeptic, scoffed at the stories of the curse. But as he ventured into the basement, he felt an invisible force wrap around his ankles, dragging him into the abyss. The whispers of vengeful spirits taunted him, their voices a cacophony of anguish that threatened to consume his sanity. With each passing moment, the cabin's malevolence grew stronger. The walls bled with a nightmarish intensity, images of twisted faces and writhing shadows that seemed to watch the travelers' every move. The floorboards creaked beneath their feet, as if the very foundation of the cabin yearned to claim their souls. As the night wore on, their grasp on reality began to unravel. The boundaries between dreams and reality blurred, and the cabin became a labyrinth of horrors. They found themselves trapped in a never-ending loop of terror, where time stood still, and their darkest fears materialized before their eyes. I and the depths of their despair, they discovered a faded photograph hidden in the attic. It revealed the tragic history of the cabin a tale of betrayal, murder, and a vengeful spirit seeking retribution. The curse had claimed countless lives before them, and now it hungered for their souls. With newfound determination, the travelers banded together, their spirits ignited with a flicker of hope. They unearthed ancient artifacts and performed a ritual in a desperate attempt to break the curse's hold. The air crackled with energy as they chanted incantations, their voices blending into a chorus of defiance against the darkness. In a blinding flash, the curse shattered, and the cabin trembled in its final throes. A burst of light erupted, banishing the malevolence that had plagued the land for centuries. The travelers emerged from the cabin, their bodies battered, but their spirits unbroken. As they left the cursed cabin behind, they cast one last glance at its crumbling facade. The forest around them seemed to breathe a sigh of relief, as if finally freed from the grip of evil. The travelers vowed to never forget the horrors they had faced, and to warn others of the darkness that lurked within the forgotten cabin. And so, their harrowing tale became a cautionary legend, a testament to the resilience of the human spirit in the face of unspeakable terror. The cursed cabin remained a relic of the past, a reminder that even in the darkest of nights, there is always a glimmer of hope, ready to pierce through the shadows and conquer the forces of 